Oh, what is happening, Internet? It's Hammer Time I'm back with another episode of Enigmatica 2, the mod pack where today we're getting into some magics. Um, I know we've been talking about this for a while and I wanted to get into it, but I've also been kind of rushing towards this, which I haven't done anything really extra with it. I did make another pattern for the main factory. Um, that's pretty much it. Just kind of playing around with some stuff. Uh, eventually we're going to try and automate everything. But today I really want to get into, um, the magic realm of things, which, you know, kind of is, you know, a, a, a gate that some stuff lives behind, right? We've completed the Thomcraft gate because we picked up a V crystal already. We've already claimed this one. And so if we get into here, Take a look at the Thomcraft quests. It says, Welcome to Thomcraft, a tier one magic mod. Thomcraft is one of the oldest magic mods around and features a lot of interesting content, such as golems and a spell system. You have to progress in the Thomonomicon to be able to progress in Thomcraft. Although these quests provide some guidance, you will need to follow the Thomonomicon. To obtain the Thomonomicon, you will need to pick up any V crystal, then sleep, and lastly, Click a click on a bookshelf with Salus Mundus. This chapter chapter leads to astral sorcery and blood magic. I think we've read that already, but you know. Um, so we need to get the Thaumonomicon, which is what this book was trying to tell us, right? I had the strangest dream last night. In the dream, I took three of these strange crystals I've been finding and ground them with a handful of redstone in a bowl using a piece of flint. That's key number one. The crystals had to be of different types, but if I did it properly, then the result was a strange glowing dust. In the dream, I took the dust and sprinkled it on a bookcase, but the dream ended before I saw what happened. I wonder, should I do what the dream showed? I have the impression the dust was going to reveal something wondrous, but dangerous. So, and that is the goal for today, is to get into a Thumbcraft and get that Thumbnomicon. So, we're actually pretty close to um, dark already. So, what do we have for V crystals? Oh, we got plenty. Okay. So, do we have a bowl? Bowl, please? Can I has bowl, please? Cool. Uh, we'll need to actually grab those because the downfall of Thomcraft is it does not just automatically go into the inventory because, you know, reasons. So then we need V crystals again. So it should just be a bowl, a redstone, and one, two, and we'll do we'll do an aqua, three. Is there flint involved too? Flint. Yes. Okay. So this will now put that in there. This will now get us a Salus Mundus. So let's just grab up like 16 of those. I'm sure we'll need more uh, every now and then. Uh, and then let's grab ourselves a bookshelf. So grab some books and grab some planks. Bada bing, bada boom. Man, that was the longest way to do that ever. Uh, I think I only need one, but we're gonna grab some extras just in case. I know I remember you used to have to do stuff like with a wand and everything, but I think that was to get the Thaumonomicon and this is the replacement. So I think we'll be fine here. Um, so let's go ahead and place our bookshelf by our bed. That looks like a fitting place for it. Uh, how long until sleeps? Not too long. Okay. While we're waiting, I'll just show one thing. I'm testing this out. I want to double check to see. We've been doing, so I've been working on getting like firm tofu to get tofurky. Um, because if I can get a better way to get, um, or no, tofikin. So, because if I can get a better way to get tofu yeah i don't know how the ground trap works i'm gonna have to figure that out more but for now it is nighttime, which means i should be able to sleep the sleeps and then bam look at it go poof 
Famanamicon. Complete, complete, complete. All right, very cool. And what else do we get? Some experience. All right. Claimed. Got. Okay. So now we need to get into the rest of the Thom craft stuff. So let's take a look in here. Who would have thought that a few sprinkles of dust could have created this marvelous book? It is mostly blank, but it hints at a powerful new form of magic, thaumaturgy. Firstly, I will need to study the magical world that has been shown to me. For that, I will need a tool, a thermometer. The book calls it. That was English. Uh, I messed that up. A normal crafting table won't do, however, since the magical ener energies I need to channel while crafting it are quite delicate. A sprinkle of Salus Mundus on a mundane crafting table will solve that. The book has taught me the proper incantation to use it, so it should be a simple matter. To keep myself on track, I will make a list of all the requirements that need to be met on the first page of each new entry. Salus Mundus. We did this, so now we need to make the arcane bench. Knowledge totals, we have none, I guess. Um, so, okay, now we're back here. Types of knowledge. There are two main types of knowledge, observations and theories. They're further subdivided into the main research categories like alchemy and artifice. Observations are notes and discoveries you have made in the real world by scanning objects. Practical observation often give insight into how things work and by keeping field notes of those observations you will slowly build a solid base of knowledge to work from. Theories, in a nutshell, are ways of understanding things through careful observation, rational thought, and practical experimentation. Much of thaumaturgical research requires crafting theories to better understand research categories. Okay, so this is kind of our old school, um, this is our old school thaumcraft right here with the mini games. For me to make any progress as a thaumaturge, I cannot rely simply on studying the world around me or stumbling upon ancient knowledge. I will need to make my own discoveries and expand my knowledge through experimentation. Crafting my own theories is the only way. I will need to create a comfortable workspace to do my research with ample supplies like writing materials and paper. I should craft some scribing tools and place it on the table. Okay, so that's telling us how to get into theory crafting. And this is telling us how to get into the arcane workbench. So let's go ahead and make the arcane workbench right away. I'm glad I made extra salus mundus. So let's grab some planks. Boom, crafting table. Now, yeah, I should run an ME cable up somewhere. Um, but let's go ahead and come up here and I'm gonna put this here and we're gonna grab a salus mundus. And ho bam We now have an arcane workbench. Oof. I need to upgrade my... Yeah, th I noticed this too. Um, I'm going to need to upgrade this, this mattock, which is fine. Uh, as long as it works. Uh, like when I've looked at great wood before too, um, it is iron as well. So, um, we'll need to definitely upgrade the mattock here soon um, but let's take a look inside okay so they changed this quite a bit because um, before you used to have like you used to have to have magic in your wand and then you'd place your wand in here and it would allow you to do said crafting now everything relies upon V crystals it seems which I kind of like um, because you can find them out in nature and stuff and it makes it a little simpler um, we're definitely going to need to, um, you know, kind of find that stuff out. Uh, the writing desk. Not in here. Okay. So let's get our Thumbnomicon back in our hands. Complete. Cool beans. Okay. So this wants us to now make the thermometer, which we can make here in just a little bit. Um, I got to grab some of this stuff to take up there, but this is what I was wondering. Yeah, it does tell us how to make scribing tools. So I wonder if we make those. Glass file. It also tells us how to make, which is pretty simple. So if we get... A, is glass file in NEI because it's in a it 
is because it's in the workbench. And then what about, I thought that was, was supposed to be synchronized. Oh, well, uh, scribing tools, grab that. Okay. We're probably going to want more of that because I think they are multiple things, but we'll find out. Um, and then let's go back here. Scribing tools got, oh, we could have just used regular glass bottles too. Okay. Good to know. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. It is. We can refill our scribing tools. Good to know. It's not giving us research table. Is the research table in here? Research table. Most Thomcraft items need to be unlocked through research in the Thomonomicon. So maybe we're not ready for that, but that's fine. We'll do, let's grab our V crystals. Um, let's just grab all of these for now. And off camera, I'm going to definitely get a, um, some sort of like AE terminal probably up here on one of the walls or something. Uh, we'll figure out how we want to run it. It's definitely going to need some, some cabling to do. Um, but I think that goes in there. That goes in there. That goes in there. That goes in there. And that goes in there. Okay, so it is the base aspects. They have kept that part. So we have Ignis, Air, Aqua, Ordo, Perdicio, right? Yeah, Perdicio and Terra. So um, somewhat familiar with this. This is my first time with the new Thomcraft, but that's all right. So now we need glass panes and gold. I think we should actually pretty much have everything ready to go glass panes yep and gold Oop. Ah, we'll just grab a stack of it i think we only need one thermometer um thermometer thermometer uh however you want to say it and then i think it was just this if i'm not mistaken i am mistaken what did this make or was it this could have swore something popped up there. Um, let's go ahead and look in our in here again. Thermometer. Oh, four gold and one glass pane. That would make sense based on the structure of the item. Got him. Okay. So we have our thermometer, which will allow us to. which will allow us to run around and scan things. Um, and then I think you can also now take it, yep, in your inventory and just start scanning things. We've already scanned that. Okay. So, yeah, now we can either run around like this and then, like, come down here. Oh, man, we got some lighting efforts to do. You know, um, some cobblestone, a fern, some grass, grass block, a flower, a flower. Already gotten those. How about a poppy? Um, cohosh? No. What about botania flowers? We already learned that one. Uh, what else do we got over here? We got a mushroom. We got a V shroom. So do you like drop V or something? What's the uses on this guy? Aspects. Okay. That's pretty much it. Um, so two Terra, 
uh, and some other stuff, some Pernicio, all sorts of things. Okay. Nothing new can be learned from that. Did I get long grass already? I think I did. Hey, Mr. Piggy. Uh, what else we got? Can't learn anything from that. How about this one? We can. All right. Well, let's head back to the base. There's a hang glider. And sleep the night away. All right. I am going to start going. Well, let's try one more thing here. I want to see, do we have support for doing this in our AE system? No. But I bet if we took it one out. Yep. We can now scan things. What about you? Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, I guess I can just go through everything in NEI and see. Um, but first, actually, let's double check our Thaumonomicon. Ooh, we unlocked another, another thing. Um, anything else here? Complete that one. Okay, we unlocked more. Such strange wonders are being revealed to me. Peering through the lens of the Thaumometer th shows me a world coursing with magic. V as the books call it. Normally this energy is a pure ocean of magic that ebbs and flows, but it also permeates all things, both an animate and inanimate. Animate? I don't know. The book calls V in this state essentia, where V is formless and pure. Essentia is more rigid in its nature and falls into a magnitude of clearly defined types, each mixing together with other f to form greater and more complex types of essentia. I'm not quite sure if this matter is... <laughs> I'm not quite sure if this mat... If the matter it is... It is bound to give essentia. Okay. I'm not quite sure if this... I am not quite sure if the matter it is bound to gives essentia its nature, or the very nature of the matter depending on the essentia it contains. This bears further study. I'm keeping a log of all the types of essentia I discover. A bookmark on the left will show my current knowledge. For now, I need to focus my energies elsewhere. Studying essentia might be a good place to start. Okay, so now we have our knowledge totals. Um, we've seen this kind of ticking up as we uh, unlock things. It was like over here. Uh, and now we also have our types of essentia. So we have our primal aspects. That's what those are called. Um, and then we can make other things based on those primals and other things. Um, so this is all Ignis stuff. No. Okay. Oh, that just shows you can't make it cause it's primal. Okay. So there's more that we need to learn here too. all these question marks in here. Um, well, there's none, but there's one, there's two. So there's more um, elements that we need to find out. Um, now we also unlocked arcane stone and arcane stone brick. So, um, yeah, I guess that's the next thing it wants us to craft here. Um, theory crafting, have you given me the recipe for the research table yet? Nope. Okay. Um, that's interesting, right? Or do I need to get all these observations done? I don't know. They're all multiple levels, so I'm not exactly sure. And you just tell me how to make scribing tools. You don't tell me how to make the research table. Interesting. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and kind of dig around into this a little bit more, go scan a bunch of things and, um, and see what's going on. Oh, the bee shroom, we found it. This strange glowing mushroom can only be found growing in magical forests. Good thing we live in one. They have hallucinogenic properties, so one must be careful not to approach too closely. I wonder if that's where I've gotten like my nausea before. It's like stepping on those. Interesting. Very interesting. And we also discovering alchemy. 
we can complete it. Brewing simple potions has its uses, but true alchemical interactions require more than mixing a few monster parts together. I think Essentia holds the key to a much more sophisticated way of manipulating matter. I should try and learn more about alchemy and how it fits into our magical world. Armed with that knowledge and a little bit of inspiration, I am sure thaumaturgic alchemy will be within my grasp. Okay, so now we're learning into alchemy, so it wants us to make a crucible. Um, my recent discovery has given, given me an insight, new insight into how the world is put together, and I think I might know a way to transform matter by altering its essentia. This will require experimentation and something to hold the alchem alchemical substrate. A simple brewing stand will not do. What I need is a mystical crucible. A cauldron is the right shape and size, but what is effectively a big metal bowl will never be able to hold the magical energies I wish to manipulate. Once again, applying some salus mundus to a cauldron should resolve my problems. Okay, so this tells us how to make the crucible, because it's a salus mundus cr creation. Does this tell us how to make... I need to make progress by simply replying. I will need to make my own discoveries and expand my crafting, my own theories. I will need to create a comfortable workspace, to ample supplies like writing materials and paper <sighs> upon a table again how does one make the table there's like no pages for me to click here so do I still not know that research or something hmm so we're on the fundamentals chapter atomic tinkerer is also unlocked. Let's complete this one. While exploring the world of magic in the Thaumonomicon, one evening I started pondering about the knowledge within and how it is all in this one easily lost, not shareable book. It seems anyone I teach to make a Thaumonomicon makes either a blank one or if they're a practitioner, one which contains their own knowledge. After some minor experimentation, I found that if I write with a special ink, I can make a tome that will transfer the completed knowledge of, of, of one Thaumonomicon to another practitioner's Thaumonomicon. Uncompleted research seems to be a resistance to this method of transfer. So this is telling us how we can make a tome of knowledge sharing. So this is like if we were playing on a server, we could write our research into one of these and be able to share research with one another. Uh, trans vector interfaces. These are sick. <laughs> uh, we got a quote from Direwolf20 here. The, th the thing is, there's only six sides to a block. Hmm. Myth equals busted. Your latest construct may be bound to a block in the nearby vicinity. Its size will mimic the sides of the block selected and it'll function as an extension. It can be, ex it can accept build craft, Thermal Expansion 3 and IC2 Power, Essentia, Items, and Liquids being able to also export the latter two. In order to bind an interface to another block, you need to create a special tool to do so. What you can call the Transvector Binder should get the job done. By simply right-clicking on the interface followed by right-clicking on the target, these two get bound and ready for operation. The limit is short, usually only four blocks. Note, Buildcraft pipes need to be broken and replaced to work. It's also possible by right-clicking the block with, his, with any other to camouflage it as the block held to remove to remove to cover simply right click on the camouflage block with an empty hand so we don't have the research yet for that guy but we can see it how about now nope it's completing hey oh you you gonna you gonna do the thing how about now now no, okay. Well, we'll come back to it. Smoky quartz. Smoky quartz is pretty much quartz, but negative. All regular blocks that can be made with quartz can also be made with smor smoky quartz, and they look black. Smoky quartz itself can be made with a piece of coal or charcoal for tinting and a few pieces of regular nether quartz. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, so if we go back to the intro fundamentals chapter, 
um, yeah, I'm going to keep looking and, you know, scanning stuff and uh, see what I find. Um, do we have anything unscanned in here? Nope. Okay. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to scan a bunch of stuff out of our ME system, and I'll bring you guys back. All right, and welcome back. Uh, last two items to scan, and we're done. All right, so I have scanned everything in my any or ME system here. Um, it's been a little while since I recorded last, actually. <laughs> uh, things got busy uh, yesterday, and or actually, I think it was the day before. Is it Saturday? Yeah, it's Monday now. Uh, so this video goes up Thursday. Um, you know, uh, the whole backlog thing's kind of shot to, shot to sh something. Uh, anyways, uh, so we went through it and we scanned everything in. So now, if we take a look uh, at our thermometer, we are um, definitely uh, unlocking some stuff in here. Look at all that observation stuff. Look at that, huh? That's pretty neat. Theory crafting, you still don't tell me how to get the research table. Um, nothing here either. So maybe that I just need to continue down this pathway uh, to find it. I haven't looked it up yet. Um, I kind of, you know, I'm trying to just kind of follow along here. Um, yeah, nothing else has changed uh, since we last uh for you know a few seconds ago for you and well for me um well, apparently days so um anyways so we put that together uh the next thing that the book would like us to do is to get into alchemy which we read through this last time uh and it says a crucible uh just salus mundus to a cauldron should do so if we look up a cauldron we have a couple sweet let's just grab one of them right uh and we got the salus mundus on us and we put it like let's say here and then just boop and it's converting cool beans so that one's complete I have my crucible. Now I need something to experiment with, and I happen to have the perfect thing. I spent a late night studying thaumaturgy, and flicking, flickering torchlight is not the best thing to read by. Steady magical light is exactly what I need now. Glowstone is a steady source of light, but I require large handfuls of it for a light source, and it lacks a style. I'm sure I can alter it into something better. The crucible needs to be placed over a source of heat and filled with water. Once the water boils, it can start adding things, blah, 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 blah. So it's going to tell us how to make niter, which is glowstone with some ignis, some lux, and some potentia. Um, hmm. I just realized something. So we're actually going to pick this guy up for right now. And we're going to bring it downstairs for a minute. Um, let's just pop you here to get a flint and steel. That's not scannable? Or do I just not see the... So that gives you 10 Ignis. What does flint give? That's Terra. Okay. Um... Iron, maybe? No, that just gives you that metal, and that's just per. Okay, yeah, it doesn't, like, stack up or something. Um, let's grab a piece of netherrack as well, just in case here. So let's just uh, pop this guy down here. Throw flame in. Flame on! Uh, we'll take our block for, n oh wait, I should be able to place it against that. Boom. Okay. Now it wants water. A bouquet. With some water. It should start to bubble when it's ready. 
Uh, and then we need Ignis. Can I just search Ignis? You have no Ignis. Um, yeah, let's try Cole. What do you got? 10 Ignis and 10 Potentia. Um, what else did we need here? We need Ignis, Potentia, and Lux, which I think we can just get some torches. Do we not have any torches? Okay, coal. And a shtick. Let's grab a few more anyways. Wow, we had torches on us. That was smart. Um, which the torch has five Lux, so we just need two of those one of these right boom boom yeah so that's all ready so if i throw the torches in and the coal in bubbly 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 boo now we need glowstone let's just grab a piece of that out and bam Do I like right click you? Did I not? Was I not supposed to throw it in? Uh, can can I has back please? Be right back. So right clicking did the trick. Sorry, I thought I was recording again, but turned out I wasn't. Um, so we'll do one more just to be sure. Just grab two of those, dump those in there. One of these, pop it in there. And then if we grab our glowstone and go bam. Oh, I think we only need one. Boom, right clicking it did the trick. Now we have two niter and it looks like we can keep using the water. We don't have to flush it. Um, the only thing I'm wondering is, I know, well, we don't have a thermometer anymore to tell, but I thought you used to be able to, to see what was in there. Maybe that's what the glasses, the goggles, the glasses, whatever you want to call them, um, you know, um, which is the next thing here. So actually, let's claim a couple quests. Um, claim, please. Sorry, forgot to do that. Top. And crucible. Um, oh, we really didn't get the arcane workbench. Do we really have to pick it up for that? That seems janky. That does not seem like a very well thought through quest. Oh, yeah, I had a bunch of items in there. See, you know, this is flint level, but it gave me it anyway, so boom. Let's also go ahead and claim this one back to the middle. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else that we've gotten. Research table. Yeah, I don't know how to make it. See the thumb and I'm for, for details. Thanks, jerks. Um, anyways, we got a sturdy casing. Cool. We got a piston. Those are always nice. Cave illuminator. That's always cool, too. And lastly, some hearty breakfast. Actually, that's pretty nice. Um, so let's go ahead and throw this back down, get our crystals back in there. I should have grabbed my crucible. That was thinking, um, let's go ahead and just break that first so we don't lose it. Cobblestone, stone, stone crucible apparently if you break it uh it doesn't release flux so i guess that's a trick um let's put this back down um and yeah that's not the smartest thing ever but it should be okay i should be able to put niter right there um, and then we can have our crucible up here. We might have to elevate that or something. Um, 
should have maybe built a, a bigger floor or something but you know it's fine um yeah so we have quite a bit of thumbcraft stuff i've figured out um and uh there's tons more to go down the thumbcraft pathway uh sencha smeltery infusion crafting uh golem press now oh that's pretty cool thomium v crystals quartz sliver it's a thominomicon thing um yeah, we got we got all sorts of stuff to kind of get into. Oh, chemical construct. That's how that's the next level to this, right? Oh, well, maybe not. I don't I don't remember. It's been a long time. Um, but we'll figure it out, you know. There's tons of stuff to do and to learn, so we can make the goggles revealing at some point now. Um, we need to get some silver wood, some great wood, some arcane stone going on, all that kind of stuff uh, to get everything rolling. All of these are going to be seed thumb and omicron for details, aren't they? No. Okay. Well, we will take a look at this next time because today we are out of time. Um, I spent a lot of time doing uh, stuff with the Thomcraft and probably we'll get back into it a little bit more uh, next episode. But, uh, you know, we're, we're also kind of probably want to try and push into um, some more magic mods, uh, especially I would love to get to the Botania sometime soon. Um, and then into the blood magic so we can kind of, you know, keep things going, keep things progressing. Um, I wanted to look at one thing before we go today. I want to look of uh, crucibles. A quartz crucible. That's not what I'm looking for. X. Cr So they don't have the XNILO Crucible in here. I wanted to double check because I was like, if that's in here, that would actually be a really decent way to generate lava. Uh, and then lastly, before we go, I do want to check down here. Now this is all grass, so this is different. Nope, still our ground trap is not doing anything with any bait in it. So not, su not sure what that's supposed to do. Does that need to be like on? Does it need to be on grass? I thought it needed to be in grass, but maybe it needs to have grass below it, too. I don't know. We'll figure that out between episodes, but thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to uh, do all the things that the, uh, the YouTubers say to do, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.